at those two setups, again, very little difference in terms of yeah. what we're trying to, as we said, if you were getting too upright, okay, and your arms down this way, we're looking roughly, I mean, if you look at some of the best players, watch the Open this week, all their tour players, their belt buckle and their shaft lines pretty much almost parallel in line. Your hip line there, you can see, is kind of more there and that way. Now, that may have come from, and the part of the reason, I wouldn't say the going to the gym got you stiffer, but it got me, I don't know what you're doing, doing lifting weights yeah. or legs or whatever, but if you do a lot of work maybe around the groin, the leg area, yeah, they're yeah. going to be quite tight to lean forward. Yeah. You then just get a bit lazy with your posture, so you go, well, that'll do yeah. kind of thing, all right? So but you look at the two swings going back now in terms of takeaway. There's your takeaway, their hands sort of level with the club, club disappeared, see you later. <laughs> Probably there. At least that club's visit. It's still a bit yeah. on the inside, but it's at least it's visible. You watch this club; it just sort of keeps going round here. That's kind of your backswing there. Very short, very sort of laid off. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit of a difference, yeah. isn't it? So at least from here now, this can happen. From here now, if you do that, you hit yourself. So the club's got to there, full start coming out of the goal, and that's when you get the club back out too far as you come in the goal And now the heel's striking the got That club there's yeah, way too outside. It. There's the hosel, and then doink. Off he goes. This one here now, the arms sort of just fall down a bit more in front of your chest yes. as you come into impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bit more of a strike there. Slightly across the ball, but at least the club now is striking the ball more towards the middle, which we're looking for. Ball find a target. Again, good full follow through for this position, okay? But if we can get that sensation, that club's working up a little bit more from a better posture rather than being, I mean, just, just look at those sort of the lines yeah. there. That club throughout this sort of movement just looks very much sort of pointing that way, doesn't it? So very yeah. flat. There's a lot of time with that swing. The club is kind of to the wall there, very, very flat behind you. Well, there's two things you can do from there. Either come back on that same line, it's be over there somewhere, massive snap hook or massive block. I don't know what your, what your woods are like with no holes or what, what sort of shots you get with the woods. Are they sort of yeah, not great? Yeah. Yeah. You've got shank or just heel, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. So club going from in that's going to create a lot of sort of in path as you come in the goal, unless you then, as you say, reroute the club and come to the top. Now, in this case, as you come back over, heal the club struck and there he goes. Yeah. So as a practice drill, a little bit more tilt in your spine. Feet are going to be a little bit further back, but keep the weight in the, hip, in the middle part. If you don't sort of just lean forward like the old downhill skier, yeah. okay, you still, if you're on your tiptoes and you're forward, you, you're just going to fall forward. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to cause you to get more and more shank. So it's putting your weight and your knee, and your, the weight in the heels and pushing your legs back a bit, and we're sinking back with the pelvis. And I think, again, there's some tension there in your groin and your leg, yeah. and some legs in the gym to try and actually just get, if you look at my belt buckle line, and actually just tilt that pelvis down this way. If you've been working on your legs, they're a bit tight. It's a bit, it's a bit yeah, I'm moving, moving, do I? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, that'll do, I'll just stand there. Okay, well, now from here, when your spine's upright, the natural rotation is going to cause your arms to whip behind you. And once they get stuck behind you, that's the big problem. You've then got to try to readjust. And the readjustment for a lot of people is going to be whipping back to try to get the club back in front and then hosel the club. So as a practice drill, as we said, set up to the golf ball there. And this is more like a go-to fix on the golf course. It's not the guaranteed way of doing it, but it gets a good chance to strike the ball better. If you're striking the golf ball and snozz over there somewhere, set up to, I don't know, daisy or a bit of grass on the ground somewhere, make some swings here and then miss the ball down this line here. Yeah. Just pull that club, get that club working back in towards you and then just try to tow it. Okay, because what you'll find, if you're trying to in the middle of the golf club, and the middle of the golf club feels to you there, you try and tow it, you're going to find some part of the golf club that's playable from, isn't it? Yeah. And if you did tow it, there's still some loft there to play with, isn't it? Yeah. It'd be a weaker shot, so a seven I might go 125, 130, but kind of go in the direction of the target, rather than 100 yards over there and reload lost ball kind of thing. Yeah. So just as like a sort of fail so they ever sort of come back. Now, again, a lot of guys have the shanks kind of within them, like sort of dormant volcanoes. They yeah. might come and go every three years. Okay, I don't think you've had them before from memory, which I've never seen yeah. before, but it's nothing you sort of really suffered with. No. Um, when they do sort of appear, they're like, Jesus Christ, where's that come from? Yeah. It's been a good golf as well. It's like, hang on, this is a bit strange. Where's the ball going? And it's a shot you can't play for. Yeah. If you're slicing or hooking or blocking or pushing, you can aim 20, 30 yards left or right and get around the golf course. Oh, yeah. You can't aim 45 degrees right now. I hope you might get it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, get yourself in a little bit more tilt over the ball. Get that club a little more up as you go back. And when the club then starts going up here on the way back, then able to sort of drop down more into sort of the hitting position rather than trying to go back out at the golf ball and um, coming to the hitting. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, try to get on the next sort of future side to finish off with. Okay, try to get that posture as we can see a little bit more from here, just a bit more this way. So the hips go back a little bit, legs maybe a little bit straighter. Get that weight position right again. Make sure when you set up that you are feeling equally balanced in the feet. Don't sort of feel on your tiptoe because you're going to just, just fall forward. Fall forward. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Good man. Okay, buddy.